Hey everyone, this is Brittany with Life in the North 40. Welcome back to our off-grid cabin build. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let's go. Everything her Brittany and I have done on this cabin has been a first for us. This was a forcing function on our property to have to learn how to build things from the ground up with our own two hands. So literally everything I'm doing is the first time. Heading down to the cabin for our last day of getting the metal roofing on. Let's hear Murph howling and whining as we drive down. See how excited he is. These are uh, eight foot sheets. My deck roof is about six foot from the apex down to my overhang I'm gonna add about an inch so that's six foot and an inch so I got to cut off roughly two feet of material here using my circular saw so I got a total of six sheets here to, to uh, cover that 16 foot spread on that deck roof for those of you wondering how I'm cutting this there's bunches of tools you can buy that for lots more money that will do a perfect job um, aviation grade tin snips, ones you can connect to your cordless drill that just snip it straight and clean, even with these ribs, a couple hundred bucks plus for that tool. A lot of people are just taking their existing saw blade off their circular saw, wood saw blade, and turning it around backwards. And that's what I did on my first cut um, for my, de uh, my cabin side, cutting length off each one, six sheets. Plus I had to rip some off the side of one sheet. It works and it doesn't cause a lot of problems. Although the downside of some of the people saying it will heat your metal up and that will weather and, and degrade rust quicker on those edges. But anyway, uh, seems to be working. It's a little tenuous because you're cutting six sheets of material, wondering if you're gonna screw it up. So um, again, being, being a guy that doesn't have tons of reps and hours on a circular saw. I spent 23 plus years in the military uh, not running a circular saw. We'll just say that. So, you know, I'm getting better with it and we'll see if we can get as good a cut as we did last time. All right, well, last piece of tar paper. Had to go buy a whole roll just for this little run here. Last one. Luckily, these sheets are manageable, a lot smaller. I can just carry them right up one at a time, nice and light. another sheet up here Cutting that metal is definitely the worst part of this whole deal. Um, not bad for a first timer. This roof isn't going anywhere. It is definitely going to weather the storm and keep this cabin protected. Got that drip edge, tar paper, and the metal roof. So now all I need to do is get the uh, ridge cap on, and we are complete up here. After I got the roof on, I put this drip edge here and I had an inch overhang on these sides. I just wasn't satisfied. I wasn't happy with my side rafter, um, this two by eight being exposed. And I found out that there's a 
gable corner trim that you can get that matches the roofing that I got at Home Depot. Tell you what, I just wasn't happy with this, so I've gone along and I pounded down this drip edge with a sledge, took the two end screws out of my ridge cap, but basically this just rolls over this edge and it will rest flush against this rafter and I can go ahead and just screw this in from the top um, and get it up under the ridge cap. So I just got to get it flush. I want to overlap coming from uphill so the water will run over the edge. Very painful, but we got her cut. Fairly straight edge. That'll be underneath the ridge cap anyway. So, scuffed it up pretty good, cutting it. Can't help it damage everything. So that's going to be our little cap cover. The right side gable trim on, on this side of the roof. My uh, deck runs kind of angle in a little bit to try to catch those 4x4s. So they got a little bit of an angle to them. So it sure looks a lot better. And it's cover covering the majority of that 2x8. And it's really protecting the 2x6 over the deck. Here's the left side of the cabin where the entry and the stairwell comes in. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, cross member supports. Um, along my deck runs. I've got that center already buttressed and X'd. I'm gonna go ahead and do every gap alternating X's just for additional stability because that is such a high run above the ground on angle. So it's just gonna add stability over time. So I'm gonna trim these boards and screw them in. These two by fours just kinda get that additional support. This post is extremely vulnerable out here by itself. It's kind of closest thing to the drop off. And uh, when I had a heavy rain before the rain let up, it was kind of washing out up above this cement pillar. So I packed it with dirt. So I'm gonna dig it out. I have a little bit of sackcrete left. I'm gonna dig out the uphill side a little bit, mix some cement, and I'm gonna pour some cement around the top kind of half moon around the top and sides and just let that set up to prevent erosion. Now that the cabin's in place and the deck with the roof uh, is in place over here, we're not gonna get as much water right in here washing under here. Thanks for watching this week on our off-grid cabin build. Catch us next week for more progress on our cabin. We want to say thank you for subscribing to our channel and liking our videos. Please leave a comment below. We love interacting with you. We'll see you next week.